What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, in the car, en route to the mall. Actually, I'm really getting something to eat, but I got past the mall to grab something to eat, so I was like, let me pop and see what's really popping. Uh, the King Griffey uh, Borsity Rewards came out yesterday. This is Sunday, by the way. I'm kind of dating myself. You know, I'm not good at getting videos posted like ASAP Rocky. So, anyway, say Sunday, uh, day after release. We're going to see if there's any left in the building, man. Now, I never got this shoe back in 2016. I actually found an image of when I was doing outlet vlogs. They were released. And they were sitting in the Nike outlet for $90. Now, I'm not too sure how much cheaper they got got than that i'm sure they got stupid cheaper but i do remember seeing them in the outlet i do remember seeing multiple different colors around that time too as well a lot of other basketball shoes to be fair man seems like nike have a five six year cycle man they reproduce the same shoes that came out um you know six years ago but anyways man we got pulled to most of what's popping i'll see you out in a bit man the mall is stupid packed but i forgot it's memorial day weekend so yeah, you can guys, you guys can go. Man, I parked. What the hell? I got this on for right now. Yo, I parked in the Boondocks, man. This is the furthest in a long time that I have parked. But then I realized it's Memorial Weekend, so the mall is packed and it's crazy, and it's about it's about to rain too, man. So let's get under some shelter. Of course, not pouring out here. So they got the Griffies in here. Four City Blue. Vote your bubble. Going for 170. This is a nine and a half. They got the threes in here too. The Georgetown threes, but these are kids, obviously. They're going for 140. I doubt they have these in there. I asked though. And I think that's it uh, for Jordans. Oh, they got the sevens in here. These look like kids too. Yeah, they look like kids. That's all I see in here, man. The threes, the sevens, and the Griffies. That's all she wrote, man. Here they go again. Yo, the malls are crowded again, man. But anyways, they didn't have the... They didn't have the Griffiths in my size. I had like size 11. It's the biggest. But anyways, man, I throw my mask back on. I'll see y'all in the next building. Yo, we actually gonna pop in Adidas real quick. Haven't been in here in a while, yo. So why not, right? All right, so we in here. Ultra Boost against the wall. Let's take a look at the basketball shoes. Okay, these are the Hardens 5, Volume 5, 6. Where are we at right now? Volume 5s, man. I like this colorway. They've been doing a lot of these joints, like this colorway. This colorway says sale on here. I want that 50% off. Oh, they're 99. They're 90. They're 91 dollars. What else they got? Um, Issue 2s, the Doms. Um, some cleats. You got the MDs over here, but I don't think they're uh, prime knit though. I don't think so. This is crazy. It's like a floral looking color. I remember it's like the old school, but we had prime knit. I got the white ones at the bottom. The dude got the ultra boost up here. I like this colorway, multicolor. But they're going for 180. What'd that say? Love Unite. Okay. That's about it. That's it, y'all. These joints look different, man. These Asics, patent leather with the red leather. That's, that's kind of dope. I like this. You already know I like patent leathers. They also got a different colorway, too, as well. They got this teal looking colorway, patent leather as well. A6L. I don't know what brand or model this is. Well, I know what brand, what model is this. A6L Light 3s. They're dope, but they're going for 120 each. So we pass them. I'm not mad at it though. Yo, Kyrie's already on sale, man. These going for 100 things. And these shoes are light. They retail for 130, but now they're 100. Three freaks right you know. They're 100 beans. I haven't seen them in black. And you also got the Ray Guns, Air Rays, but they're going for full retail though. Seen these in the outlets already. The new KD joints. These are light too. I'm not a fan of the strap. And guess what we see, y'all? Uh, the Griffies, varsity blue. Retail gang, small size though. A whole bunch of other LeBrons. For Jordans, the only thing I see is like the, I don't know, tail. They're going for 100 beans though, but I think they're the kids. These are sevens right here. They're going for 190, already hitting the outlets. Are these for kids or are these adults? Get out of here, yo. Why do I see some um, Raging Bull fives in the building? They're like a big size too, probably like a 10. I'm gonna ask about my size, most deaf. I'm gonna ask about my size. Can't believe I've seen those in the building. And then we got the sevens, it's obvious. And I knew about these. But yeah, let's ask about these sevens though. I mean, these fives, I'm tripping. I don't want the, the sevens. Nah, nah, I ain't trying no more. Just wanna take a quick look. Patience is a virtue, man. Patience is a virtue, man. I've been waiting for these for a good minute. And I just came to the mall on the whim and I found them. 
five for my size, yo. Wasn't gonna pay that resale price. Was not gonna pay that resale price, bro. Size 12, my size. So you about walking the Foot Locker, man? That was crazy. Your boy lucked up, man. What's the odds of that happening, man? Random trip to the mall. We talked about midday too on top of that. And I got what I, I always wanted. Retail. Okay, they got those? We gotta take a look at those. Man, I thought these were the Shee Wallets at first, man, but they got the Nike and border on the lateral side. They do remind me, same colorway. It's kind of clean, man. I'm not even gonna flex. I'm not gonna flex. I actually like it. What are they going for? 120 is the price. I'm not mad at it at all. These are dope. What they got for Jordans? They got the Zions. They got the Lowe's. And that's it. That's it. They got these Lowe's. It's going for 110, though. These are cool. PZ5's in the building. 110, yo, you cannot go wrong with these, man. Oh, shoot. Dropping shoe. Price point for the PG5s, bro, is legit, man. The comfort and everything. I mean, if they feel like any of the one through fours, they're dope. Um, but it's very light, man. It's, it's already sold me just how light this is. These are dope. Ooh, they got the air bubble unit on the back heel now. That's different. Used to be on the forefoot. At least for the ones that was. What's true? What else? KD, what's these at? Who we got, 14? Yeah, 150 is a price. My fan of the strap. Excuse me, man. Rama Palmas. So, nothing crazy at Foot Locker, so we about to walk into our JD's. And that's it, it's be a wrap, then we'll take it to the crib. All right, so we in JD. Look at the basketball section right now. What are these? Oh, the New Balance, so the Kawhis, right? Got the Under Armors, are these the Currys? I think they are. I'm not mad how they look, they look legit. And what are these right here? Nerfs? Nerf what? It's light too. This Reebok? Kamikaze Lowe's, I'm not mad at it. Ooh, and it's like, kind of like the old school Kamikaze's like these right here. All right, these is actually light too. We got the Allisons, the Hardens, generic Nike. Question for you. All right, y'all, we'll get out here, man. I'm gonna take a look at what they have for retros, man. You already know I pick up the Raging Bowls at Foot Action. Right now, I'm a JD Sport. Uh, all they got is uh, sevens, these Flint sevens, which I ain't mad at. I don't have that many pairs of sevens, and the quality on here is not that bad as well. I guarantee y'all, in two years, some of y'all gonna regret getting it, but teach is on. If you don't like them, you don't like them, man. So, you know what I mean? If they go on sale, I'll probably definitely grab up here but jordan the way this comment is they're not going on sale and they're selling out asap rocky you guys already seen all the basketball shoes here ain't nothing much to go over pg5s i'm a i'm a trophy them for this year they are a good shoe very light i'm working on a pair Nike ID pair myself, so I'm waiting for that to happen before I grab myself a pair. I do got the all white air rays, you know what I'm saying? I do like these, man. It's like a blank canvas. I like that rubber band outsole. These are dope. Those are dope. We got the Team Jordans. Not too much y'all care about. We just saw these in Foot Locker. Mommy of the Rasheed Wallace, but not really. I'm not mad at the shoe too, bro. I think they're dope. I love the colorway. They are a little bit bulky than I would like, but they're clean. All the OGs. They got the white Air Force joints. I gotta, I gotta get, get out the shadows. There it goes, all white joints. And they got them in black, which I used to wear, yo. I know y'all probably, probably cringing right now. You used to wear black Air Force Ones? Yes, I did. Even I had the highs, man. The Rasheed Wallace high top looking um, Air Force Ones. So I'm out of here though, y'all. I'm out. And we're back in the sneaker office, man. Appreciate you guys if you watch this far. I think this video is probably over 10 minutes by now. So I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Well, by the look of things, you guys probably already know what I cop, right? Here's the bag, foot action. Here's the box. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size, and shirts are coming soon. And these are the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls, the 2021 pair. And y'all probably wondering, Frank, why are you specifying the year? Because this shoe is a re-release. This shoe came out in a pack in 2009. It came out May 30th. The same day I copped this 12 years ago. I'm happy to have these. I copped these from Foot Action. It was crazy. I did not expect to see them. I went to the mall on a whim. I actually went out to get something to eat, but I was close to the mall. So I was like, let me pop in there and see if the King Griffey's are sitting. And while I'm there, I'm like, yo, might as well make the best of my trip. So I started vlogging. And I was like, let me go in every single store. So usually with trips like that, I'll just go in and out the stores. Don't care about vlogging because I just want to was in there but because i was intending to vlog while i was there i said let me go in every store so that's why i went to adidas and finally made my way to foot action where i saw these sitting on the shelf i just randomly asked like yo you got 12 not getting my hopes up and he's like yeah sure <laughs> i got it i'm like what and now these shoes came out april 10th 2021 so like a month and a half ago going on two months and they're restocked or it could be a late shipment. Who knows? I just know I got them for retail. I was really close to paying resale price, but I didn't want to do it. It was 250 and I was like, nah, 
Nah, I didn't want to do it, man. For some reason, I thought I was going to get blessed because I did put the attempts, man. The sneaker app, the sneaker re reservation apps, the shoe palace, the DTLRs, the Jimmy Jazz. I went ham because I wanted this shoe. This is one of the shoes I wanted uh, for this year. One of them, top 10, one of the top 10 shoes, I would say that much. Compared to 2009 version, I don't have it, but I have seen people's videos and it looks like the sway is a little bit more vivid, a little bit more glossy, a little bit more purposeful. It looked more buttery um, on the 2009 pair. But if you got 2009 pair, you probably got that lemonade effect and on the side of the web and both the medial and lateral side. Cause the shoe is old, be 12 years, and you kind of get a reincarnated version of the 2021 pair. But nevertheless, man, same Jordan brand treatment, the 23 on the lateral side, the ear Jordan Jumpman on the back of the heel and also on the tongue. It's not as nice and buttery as the 2009 pair, but this would do. It's the only pair I got. Plus back then, this shoe came out in the pack, was hitting for $350. That's crazy. No one was paying that. The other shoe in the pack was a Jordan 5, and I think it was like 3M. Um, I never seen them in person, nor do I have pictures to even show you. I probably could find them, but if I have the time, I'll throw it up there. But anyways, man, that was is my story and it's crazy how that worked out. Wanted this shoe all year, sort after it, did not get it, did not give in and pay that resale price. Pray that eventually I will get a restock because everywhere is getting restocks and I'm missing out. But that day, Memorial Day weekend, that Sunday, that random trip to the mall, midday might add you, I was able to luck up and win a pair. Not win in the sense like I was giving it to it free, but I had the opportunity to buy it. So it was a win for me. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel and like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments down below. Let me know if these are restocking late shipments in your area, man. And if not, did you guys pay a resale price for this? Was it worth it if you did? I'm interested to hear you guys comments down below but anyways man i'm gonna get out of here man you already know my slogan good to go it's a wrap peace